Lots of things could happen to the spine, and it really depends on a patient's age, for example. Younger patients generally have herniated discs that result in nerve compressions. The MRI may show a large herniated disc causing compression on one of the nerves that essentially forms a sciatic nerve in your leg. That would be a really good indication for a lumbar hemilaminectomy or a hemilaminotomy and discectomy. My name is Nader Habella. I'm a staff physician here at Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi in the Neurological Institute. Lumbar hemilaminotomy and discectomy is essentially a removal of the disc that's causing compression on the nerve. If it's as near immediate pain relief, often patients will wake up immediately after surgery without pain in their leg, without numbness and tingling, and feel better actually immediately after surgery. Anyone who's faced with the prospect of spine surgery is rightfully worried about that. But in all honesty, spine surgery has come quite a long way, and we've made great advances in terms of getting patients proper care, both surgically and post-surgically. The surgery lasts anywhere from one hour um, for one level, two hours for two levels, and three hours for three levels. We make a small incision and we remove some of the muscle uh, that is covering the lumbar spine and the bones. Then we remove a very small portion of the bone. From there, you can actually see the nerves. We move the nerves over. And in this particular instance, take the disc that's basically herniated and compressing on the nerves. So by removing the bone, we give the nerves a little bit of space. And by removing the disc, we take the pressure off of the nerves that are being compressed by that disc. We basically uh, cover the nerves up back with the muscles, and then we basically sew up the fascia as well as the skin and place a you know, sterile dressing over the incision. Fortunately, the complications are actually fairly low. Nerve root injury is probably the most substantial problem that people will encounter, and that would result in more pain in the leg or perhaps weakness in the leg that usually resolves after about three months or so. But again, that's 0.1% risk of happening. Precision's certainly one of the defining characteristics of spine surgery. Because we deal with uh, very delicate structures such as nerves, it's important to be very gentle um, when working around them and to take the most care um, to do what you need to do, which is the actual surgery, without adversely affecting or injuring the nerve. Patients prior to surgery will complain of pain that's eight to nine out of 10 in intensity. It prevents them from walking and it certainly prevents them from performing their activities of daily living. What's great about this surgery is the near immediate relief that patients experience. So in the holding area or in the PACU, the post anesthesia recovery area, patients essentially report very little pain in their leg. The numbness sometimes lasts a little bit longer for about two or three weeks, and that's generally very normal. But what's amazing is that their function is really back to almost normal before the operation. So it's a very satisfying operation to do because patients generally get better very, very quickly.